The Corporate Blockchain Coup When most people talk about blockchain, the conversation almost always circles back to the same names. Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe the latest altcoin making noise on social media. The debate centers on token prices, new decentralized apps, or which DeFi project is about to explode. But here's the truth the crypto crowd often misses. The real adoption. The kind that will quietly move trillions of dollars and reshape global commerce isn't happening on trading charts or inside crypto Twitter threads. It's starting in boardrooms, in strategy meetings, and in private discussions between corporate giants and governments. And at the center of this shift sit two names you rarely hear mentioned together in mainstream crypto conversations, Header Hashgraph, HBAR, and IBM. While retail traders are distracted by volatile meme coins and speculative NFT drops, IBM and Hedera have been methodically embedding blockchain into the most critical, and most overlooked parts of the global economy. Supply chains, payment systems, and enterprise data networks. This isn't the flashy, hype-driven side of crypto. This is the infrastructure layer, the kind of work that doesn't grab headlines until it's too late for the public to front-run it. This is not vaporware. We're talking about live pilots already in motion, signed contracts with multinational corporations, and a governance model that reads like the guest list at a Fortune 100 summit. Google. Boeing, Standard Bank, LG, and yes, IBM itself, not just as a partner, but as a governing force shaping the very rules of the network. And here's what makes it different. IBM isn't in the business of chasing maybes. They don't roll out technology because it's trendy. They invest time, money, and resources when they know it solves real problems for the largest organizations on earth. Problems worth billions, if not trillions. And when IBM moves in, they bring the entire enterprise world with them. Hedera's role in this is no accident. Its speed, security, and cost efficiency make it an outlier in the blockchain world. Not in the ways that retail crypto fans usually care about, but in the ways that matter to corporations, banks, and governments looking for reliable, compliant infrastructure they can build on for decades. This is the corporate blockchain coup. The slow, deliberate takeover of global trade systems payment rails, and supply chain networks by a public network with private-grade governance, and the backing of one of the most trusted names in enterprise tech. Watch closely because the details behind this partnership aren't just interesting. They're the kind of moves that will only make headlines once the systems are already in place, the markets have shifted, and the early opportunities are gone. IBM's enterprise legacy meets Hedera's new architecture. To understand why this partnership between IBM and Hedera Hashgraph is so significant, you have to step back and look at the history of IBM in enterprise technology. For decades, IBM has been the backbone of corporate IT. From mainframes that ran the world's banking systems in the 1960s, to the infrastructure that powers government databases, airline booking systems, and even space missions, IBM has always operated where reliability, security, and scale are non-negotiable. When a multinational corporation or a government agency needs to move mission-critical data, execute high-value transactions, or maintain operations across dozens of countries, they turn to IBM. Not because IBM is trendy, but because IBM builds systems that don't break. Now, think about what blockchain has promised since day one. Trust without intermediaries, transparency in transactions, and automation through smart contracts. On paper, it sounds perfect for enterprise use cases. But in reality, most public blockchains weren't designed for the demands of global corporations. They're slow under heavy load. They have unpredictable fees. Governance is often chaotic, with no clear decision-making process when critical updates are needed. That's why IBM's early experiments with blockchain, such as Hyperledger Fabric, focused on private, permission systems. They wanted control over who could join the network, who could see the data, and how the rules could be enforced. But private blockchains come with a major limitation. They lack the broad, decentralized trust of a public network. This is where Hedera enters the picture. Hedera Hashgraph isn't a traditional blockchain. It's a distributed ledger built on Hashgraph consensus, a system that processes transactions in parallel instead of one by one like most blockchains. That means it can handle hundreds of thousands of transactions per second with finality in seconds not minutes. And it does it with fixed, ultra-low fees, something enterprises can actually budget for. Just as important, Hedera's governance model solves one of the biggest pain points for corporate adoption. Stability. 
instead of anonymous miners or token holders making critical decisions through unpredictable voting systems, Hetera is governed by a council of up to 39 global organizations, each with equal voting power, fixed term limits, and diverse geographic and sector representation. IBM is not just a partner here. They are one of those governing members, shaping the network's technical roadmap and strategic direction. This governance model is exactly what corporations want. Transparency without chaos, decentralization without anarchy. It blends the trust of a public network with the control and predictability enterprises require. And IBM isn't stopping at governance. They are actively building on Hetera, using it to power supply chain solutions that track goods from manufacturing to retail shelves, verify the authenticity of products, and streamline international trade documentation. In the same way IBM once helped digitize financial records and global logistics, they are now helping enterprises leap into distributed ledger technology, but without the volatility and unpredictability of most crypto projects. When you combine IBM's unmatched enterprise network with Hetera's performance, governance, and efficiency, you don't just get another blockchain partnership. You get a blueprint for how blockchain finally goes mainstream in corporate environments. Not through hype, not through speculation, but through solving real problems for some of the biggest organizations on the planet problems that, once solved, will quietly become the standard way of doing business. And if you've been paying attention to technology history, you know what happens next. The rest of the world catches up years later, wondering how they missed the moment the shift began. Supply chains, payment networks, and Hetera's enterprise advantage. If you want to understand how IBM and Hetera are positioning themselves for mass adoption, you have to look at the two areas where blockchain solves real-world corporate pain points. Supply chain tracking and payment settlement. Supply chains are messy. They span multiple countries, multiple currencies, and multiple regulatory environments. A single product, like a smartphone, might involve dozens of suppliers, hundreds of shipments, and thousands of data points before it ever reaches a customer's hands. And right now, most of that information is siloed in closed systems owned by different companies. Data is often incomplete, outdated, or even intentionally altered to hide delays or defects. IBM has been solving parts of this problem for years with their existing enterprise tools, but those tools still relied heavily on trust between partners. Hetera changes that. By using Hetera's public, immutable ledger, Every participant in a supply chain can verify the authenticity of a shipment, confirm timestamps, and track goods in real time, without having to trust that someone else's private database is accurate. And because hetero transactions settle in seconds with tiny, predictable fees, it's actually feasible to log every step of a product's journey. From raw material extraction to manufacturing to customs clearance to retail delivery, each checkpoint can be recorded and verified. For enterprises, that's more than just operational efficiency. It's compliance with tightening regulations around sustainability, product safety, and ethical sourcing. Now, layer on payments. Supply chains don't just move goods, they move money. And moving money internationally is notoriously slow and expensive, especially for companies dealing with multiple banking relationships and currencies. Here, Hedera's role as a value transfer layer becomes critical. IBM has a long history in payment processing, from swift messaging integrations to global bank infrastructure. By leveraging Hetera, they can introduce near-instant settlement for trade finance, supplier payments, and cross-border transactions, all while keeping transaction costs negligible. This is especially powerful when combined with stablecoins or central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, which remove FX volatility from the equation. Imagine a shipment leaving a factory in Vietnam. The moment it clears customs, a smart contract on Hetera triggers payment to the supplier. In a stablecoin pegged to their local currency, or in a CBDC issued by their central bank. No waiting days for a wire transfer. No correspondent banking delays. No inflated fees. The funds arrive in seconds, fully auditable, and recorded on a ledger governed by some of the most trusted institutions in the world. This is not theoretical. IBM has been developing blockchain-based trade and payment solutions for years, but they've often run into the limits of private blockchain scalability and interoperability. Hetera removes those bottlenecks. It's public enough to offer transparency, fast enough to handle enterprise-scale volumes, and governed in a way that meets corporate risk standards. 
What's happening now is the merging of IBM's deep corporate relationships with Hedera's technical and governance strengths. And that's a formula for adoption at a scale the crypto world rarely talks about, because it doesn't happen on crypto Twitter. It happens in contract negotiations, enterprise pilot programs, and boardroom strategy sessions. By the time the average retail investor hears about a global shipping giant moving its entire supply chain tracking and payment system onto Hedera via IBM, it won't be a pilot anymore. It will be the new standard, the CBDC connection and the corporate government bridge. If supply chains and payment networks are the enterprise front lines for blockchain adoption, central bank digital currencies are the next layer that ties everything together. And IBM and Hedera are already positioning themselves in that space not as flashy disruptors, but as trusted infrastructure providers. Central banks are slow to move, but when they do, they move with precision and scale. Their top priorities are stability, compliance, and interoperability with existing financial systems. This is where most public blockchains stumble. They're either too volatile, too unregulated, or too technically incompatible with legacy banking rails. Hedera, with its governance council full of multinational corporations and its enterprise-grade consensus model, sidesteps those issues entirely. IBM has decades of experience working directly with governments and central banks, from designing secure payment messaging systems to managing sensitive national data. This gives them a credibility edge no crypto-native company can match. When a government starts exploring CBDC pilots, IBM isn't coming in cold. They're coming in with existing relationships, security clearances, and a track record of mission-critical deployments. Here's where Hedera fits in, as the scalable, transparent, low-latency settlement layer that can handle not just millions, but potentially billions of daily microtransactions, from consumer purchases to automated supply chain payments, without the congestion or unpredictable fees that plague many blockchains. Picture this. A CBDC pilot in a developing market needs to integrate with both local businesses and international suppliers. The central bank doesn't want a closed system that only works domestically. It wants a platform that can connect to global trade networks, settle instantly, and still meet KYC slash AML compliance. IBM provides the integration layer with banks, merchants, and government systems. Hedera provides the distributed ledger where transactions are finalized and audited. This isn't speculation. The Hedera Governing Council already includes major financial and technology institutions that have active CBDC research and partnerships. And IBM has been part of multiple blockchain payment initiatives aimed at cross-border settlements, including projects that resemble early-stage CBDC infrastructure. Now combine this with Hedera's unique consensus service, which allows for timestamping and ordering transactions without bloating the ledger. That's ideal for a government that needs high throughput for micropayments while maintaining a verifiable record of every single transaction, whether it's a $10 retail purchase or a $10 million international trade deal. The strategic value here is enormous. If IBM can become the on-ramp for CBDCs into enterprise supply chains and payment networks, and Hedera becomes the underlying settlement fabric, they've effectively built a bridge between government-backed money and the corporate world. That's not just adoption. That's integration at the deepest possible level of the global economy. And here's the part most people miss. When this kind of infrastructure goes live, it doesn't announce itself in a flashy press release to crypto influencers. It rolls out quietly through procurement contracts and pilot programs until one day it's simply how things work. By then, HBAR won't be a speculative play for early adopters. It will be the invisible backbone of a new corporate government hybrid financial system. And that's when the value locked into its network will dwarf anything the current market is pricing in. The blueprint for global enterprise blockchain domination. When you step back and look at the full picture, IBM's enterprise dominance, Hedera's unique governance, the supply chain pilots, the payment network integrations, and the potential CBDC bridge, you start to see a strategy that goes beyond blockchain adoption. This isn't about launching another platform to compete for DeFi users or trying to lure retail traders away from Ethereum and Solana. This is about building the default standard for how enterprises, banks, and governments interact with distributed ledger technology, without them ever having to wade into the chaos of the public crypto markets. Let's break down why this combination is so potent. 1. IBM's Corporate Trust Advantage In the enterprise world, brand trust is everything. 
When a multinational needs to overhaul its payment systems or digitize its supply chain, they don't search for blockchain companies on Google. They call IBM. This brand recognition, built over decades of delivering secure, compliant, mission-critical infrastructure, gives IBM a direct line to decision-makers at the top of the corporate food chain. Two, Hedera's governance model. While most blockchains are run by a foundation, a handful of developers, or anonymous node operators, Hedera's governing council includes a rotating roster of Fortune 500 companies and global institutions. This makes it bulletproof in the eyes of enterprises. No rug pulls, no governance drama, no sudden changes in protocol that could destabilize corporate operations. 3. Enterprise-grade technical performance. Hedera isn't chasing hype cycles. Its architecture is designed for massive throughput, low fees, and predictable performance. That's the holy trinity for corporate adoption. For a retail investor, a 30-cent transaction fee might seem small. For a multinational processing millions of transactions per day, that's a budget breaker. Hedera keeps costs negligible and speeds high, exactly what global scale networks demand. For strategic market timing. Right now, enterprises and governments are in the planning and pilot phase for blockchain integration. But the moment regulatory clarity arrives, whether it's in the US, EU, or key emerging markets, they'll need a ready-to-go, proven system. IBM and Hedera aren't waiting to build when the green light flashes. They're building now so they can be the first viable option when the starting gun fires. 5. The network effect of early integration. Once an enterprise integrates with Hedera through IBM's infrastructure, switching costs become enormous. Payment rails, supply chain data flows, CBDC settlement, all of that gets embedded deeply into corporate systems. By the time competitors try to pitch their own blockchain solutions, it's too late. The company is already locked into the IBM Hedera stack. And here's the kicker. None of this needs retail hype to succeed. Even if the crypto market is in a bear cycle, corporate blockchain adoption runs on its own clock, driven by ROI, efficiency gains, and regulatory compliance, not Twitter trends. If IBM and Hedera pull this off, they won't just be in the enterprise blockchain space. They'll own it. And owning that space means controlling the rails for potentially trillions in annual transaction volume, without the volatility, risk, or regulatory headaches of running a public crypto exchange or speculative DeFi protocol. This is the corporate blockchain coup. Not loud. Not flashy. Just inevitable. And if you understand where this is headed, you realize that HBAR isn't simply another altcoin. It's a stake in the infrastructure layer of the next global financial and data network. When the rest of the market catches on, it won't be a slow build. It'll be a sudden realization that the game has already been decided. And IBM and Hedera have been holding the winning cards the entire time. The moment before the floodgates open. By now, you can see this for what it really is. IBM isn't experimenting. Hedera isn't guessing. They're executing a long-term plan that positions them as the default infrastructure for enterprise blockchain. And once this framework is fully operational, there won't be time to get in early. The Fortune 500 will already be on board. The payment rails will already be set. The supply chain networks will already be locked in. Most people will only hear about it when it's too late, when the press releases start rolling in, when the transaction volume explodes, when analysts start throwing around trillion-dollar market size estimates. By then, the foundation will have been laid, and IBM plus Hedera will be the bedrock everyone's building on. The question isn't if this happens. The question is, will you recognize the shift before it hits the front page? If this breakdown opened your eyes to the scale of what's coming, here's what to do next. Hit like so more people see the truth the media isn't talking about. Drop a comment with your take because discussions like this are how we cut through the noise. Subscribe for more deep dives into the moves that actually shape the future of finance. And share this with someone who still thinks blockchain adoption starts on Twitter because they need to see what's happening in the boardrooms right now. The future is already being built. And if you're not watching IBM and Hedera, you're not watching the real game.